Hi everyone, so this is my fully assembled um, mini album that I just did the tutorial on and uh, this is the front cover and this is the back which there's not any embellishing done. Um, I'll do that after I add my pictures. And it has this accordion spine so it's when it lays down it lays well, it lays flat. And that is really nice, and it stands up, and it's just really sturdy and very nice, and just very neatly put together. So this is the first set of pages, and then I have some just some blank tags in here, and this insert here, which again is um, 11 inches by 5 and 3 fourths folded in half. So there's lots of room for pictures there. And I just slide out on each page for pictures and, and journaling or just whatever. And another one of those here. Another slide out that's blue. And there's this one. That I like. I really like that green and this brown. I just really like these sort of colors, so it's a great mini album for me. And another green insert here. And some more inserts here. So lots of pictures and, um, I will, you know, do some stamping or some borders or just whatever when I go to add my pictures, you know, um, and add titles and stuff. But I like to do that, you know, when I have my pictures all set out and I'm laying everything down, I like to do that then. Um, and then, just like other albums, you know, the, it's consistent all the way through, so these inserts are the same. And, you know, same there, and then you go this way, the next two pages are the same, and the inserts are the same. I got stuck. Alright, there you go. And same thing here, and same thing on the last pages. It just, I think it adds a lot of consistency and professionalism and just neatness and lots of just great design, I think, when you do things that way. And I just, I like it. So that's my album. And just on like the, the tags, all the inserts here, you can add uh, roughly around 52 pictures and then you know, even more spots for pictures on these blank pieces here, but that's just for the inserts. And then like, let's say on here I added like a 2x3 um, picture or, or like a wallet size or a mini wallet size photo here, then there's still room down here to journal a little bit. So I mean, I can add 50 some photos and still have room to journal, or if I want to journal a lot I can add less pictures and have more room for journaling. So there's a lot of real estate when you do an album this way. So that is really cool. And also, um, I'll just kind of explain to you all the supplies that I used. Um, the only adhesive I used was my ATG adhesive. And these are 36 um, yard rolls. And I think I used two or two and a half, um, maybe three. I use a lot of adhesive when I put stuff down, though, because I don't want it to come back up. And I don't want it to, like, when the page... Like if you were to bend the page because it is kind of flexible, um, I don't want it to bubble at all. So I add a lot of, of adhesive. And um, so I use quite a bit of adhesive. Um, I used um, nine, I think it was nine. Yeah, nine, eight and a half, or six by nine envelopes is what I used. Nine of those total. And then I used seven 12 by 12 sheets of patterned paper which I did have some leftovers here. 
Um, this is what I had for leftovers. I have two of these. Um, I think they're like six and a half by twelve inch sheets. And then just this other piece is left over in a few strips. And some more in this little bag that I'll hold on to. And then I'm going through and um, adding my embellishments. When I'm adding my pictures, I can you know, make little elements in there for design. And so that's what I have left over for patterned papers. And I used eight, eight and a half by eleven sheets of cardstock to make these inserts right here. So I had just like a three and a half strip left over here and that's what I made these tags out of. And um, so I do have some of those left over also. I have some of these so I could make more tags if I want to or just add, you know, use them um, for more embellishments, make borders or something out of them when I go to um, add my pictures. So that's what I have left over for that. And I also used for covering this um, thin chipboard here, I um, used three uh, sheets of 12 by 12 cardstock. So I used a brown sheet, a blue sheet, and a green sheet. And that's what it took to make six of these. And then I just used some um, scrap pattern paper from making these V-cuts here. Um, to make the tabs. And these pieces measure five and a half, five and a half by uh, five and three fourths. And that makes a very nice smooth insert. And um, I uh, don't really have a lot of cardstock left over from doing that. I have just all these really small strips that I could, you know, use again for like borders or something like that. And you don't have to have like these scraps of cardstock. So not a whole lot of scraps. Um, and I used, let's see, if I was, had a 12, I didn't make these out of tw um, 12 by 12. Um, chipboard. This was just like recycled chipboard that's fairly thin, but I mean it's sturdy enough for it. And um, I didn't want a real thick, heavy-duty chipboard for my inserts. But I used, let's say, um, one and a half sheets of 12 by 12 is what this would be, roughly. And then, actually, for the covers. Two, um, I actually used two, two separate sheets of 12 by 12 um, heavyweight. This is heavyweight chipboard. Um, and because it's six and a quarter, or six and a half by six and a quarter, I had to use two separate sheets, so I had quite a bit of scraps from that, but I can use that on a, a different project. So those are the supplies that I used for this, and um, so not too bad. I thought it turned out really great. I really like it, and um, I really hope you guys like the tutorial. Um, if you guys have like any questions or comments or anything like that, just let me know. Tell me what you think. Um, uh, I would really like to hear it, and I really appreciate it. Um, any tips on my next, you know, what to do differently on my next tutorial or something like that? Just, just let me know. Feel free to say whatever you want. And um, thanks everyone for watching, and I will see you again next time.